Hey, 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 it's Evelyn here of The Evelyn Inc. In today's video, we're gonna talk about four reasons why having a strategy in your business is a form of self-care. And if this is your first time watching, welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a upload. And also make sure that you turn on the bell notification so you can always be notified when I upload a new video. And if you've been here before, welcome back, girl. Listen, I'm glad to have you. Thank you for rocking with your girl. And y'all know, listen, that when I do these videos, I always have my notes right here to the side because I value your time. And so I want to make sure that I'm not on here just rambling because if you know me in real life or if you've been rocking with me for some time or if you watch any number of my videos, you know your girl at times can be a tad bit okay a tad bit long-winded all right so in this video we're going to be talking about four reasons why having a strategic plan in your business is a form of self-care so you guys know i am not a fan of traditional self-care that i believe in strategic self-care that's intentional that's proactive all of that kind of stuff but a lot of times as creative women entrepreneurs we have so many ideas and we're going and we're going and we're going and listen our business are they're growing and they're flourishing and you're making profits and everything is great in that respect but we're exhausted we're tired sometimes we're burnt out we're all of these things and so a lot of times that's because while we're making things work and we're you know we're getting new clients and customers we don't have an overall strategy for our business and so i want to share with you why, at least in my opinion, what I've experienced and what people that I've worked with experience, that when you have a strategy in your business, it is actually a form of self-care. So let's hop into reason number one, okay? Reason number one, that having a strategy and a strategic plan in your business is a form of self-care. It relieves stress about where you're going and how to get there. Okay, so a lot of times we have these goals or we have these, um, you know, these accomplishments that we want to achieve. And we're just like, ah, you know, they're on our vision board. We've got them on a sticky note. They're in our planner. We've got them on the mirror. Right. And yet we haven't mapped out a step by step plan on how we're going to get there. Or maybe we've done it for just a few goals, but we haven't done it for our business. Like we have no vision of where we want our business to go in the next year, in the next five years, in the next 10 years. Or maybe you can drill it down even further, which is like, what is your social media strategy? What is your lead generation strategy? What exactly do you want Instagram to do for your business, but also for your potential customers and clients? What do you want Facebook to do? What do you want your website to do, right? So what is, do you have any offline strategies for your online creative business? And what is the goal, right? And so I want you to think about that. Like, do you have a strategy in place or are you just kind of doing things? Are you posting and praying, okay? Because that doesn't work. And even if it gets you profits here and there, right? It, it it is it's got to be stressful just ah let me do something today tomorrow ah, okay every week what's the overall approach so what's great about having a, a strategic plan in place is that it relieves the stress about where you're going and how to get there so let's get into reason number two okay reason number two when you have a strategic plan in your creative business it relieves the stress of making in the minute decisions in the moment decisions like i cannot tell you how less stressful it is when i go to the refrigerator and my meals are already prepared and i can just grab something out of the fridge than when i go to the refrigerator and i'm standing there trying to figure out what to eat right and so it's the same thing in your business if you're waking up every day every week trying to figure out what do i need to be doing today what do i need to be doing this week what do i need to be doing this month what do i need to be doing this quarter that's stressful, okay? But if you've mapped out a strategic plan, if you've set the right kind of goals, then you know on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis what you need to be doing, why you're doing it, and the results that you're going to get as a result of it, right? But a lot of times we're just like, 
Oh, what? Oh, this came up. I need to put this on the to-do list for tomorrow. Oh, I got this email. This needs to go on the to-do list for tomorrow. And listen, I'm not saying that you're never going to have those moments in your business. Listen, we're creative. We're always coming up with new ideas, new launches, new products, new services, new ways of trying to grow our business, new ways of serving our customers and clients at a high level. But that doesn't need to be the lifestyle that you live. That needs to be an off chance occurrence, right? So the second reason why having a strategic plan for your creative business is important is because it relieves the stress of trying to make in the moment decisions. It's kind of like even like laying out your clothes for the week or like I lay out my workout clothes for the week. So when I'm getting up at five o'clock in the morning to go to the gym, I'm not like going through my drawers going, oh, what like what am I wearing to the gym today? Okay, oh, where's my bag? Okay, where's my water bottle? What towel am I bringing? It's already laid out. I can reserve that energy for me, for my time, or to allocate it somewhere else. But I'm not expending energy about what class am I taking? What gym am I going to? Which location? What am I wearing? What time am I going, right? When I have a plan in place for that part of my life, it alleviates stress, okay? I hope this is making sense and I hope this is causing you to really think about do you have a strategic plan in place for the various aspects of your business, okay? So now let's go into reason number three that having a strategic plan for every aspect of your creative business is a form of self-care, okay? When you have a strategic plan, it's easy to decide what's good for you and what's not for you okay so example for example i get a ton of facebook ads and i'm not anti-facebook ads i run my own facebook ads so i'm not anti-facebook ads but what's great about me knowing where i'm going in that season of my creative business and where i'm going long term i can look at something and go yep that's for me nope that's not for me okay and when opportunities come my way or when people reach out and solicit me for different things it's an easy quick decision to go yes that fits with what i'm trying to do and that will get me closer to my goal or no that doesn't what happens when you don't really know you know and here's the thing you you can be profitable in your business without a strategic plan people do it every day right there's a lot of hustling and grinding there there's a lot of stress there's a lot of in the moment decisions right there's a lot of oh maybe i shouldn't have done that oh that was a bad decision but you absolutely can be profitable without a strategic plan but we're talking about being rested rejuvenated relaxed and generating revenue at the same time by having a strategic plan and so when you know where you're going and how you want to get there, aka a strategic plan, then when things come along, you know, oh, I don't need to get off on that exit and and purchase that or buy that or participate in that because that's not going to help me get to where I'm going. Oh, yes, I do need to merge all the way to the fast lane so I can get off all this left exit because this is where I'm going, right? So it's the same thing in your business. And so a lot of times when people say that they've wasted money, whether it's on coaching, whether it's on programs, whether it's on products or services or things like that is because they really didn't have a plan about where they were going and they were just making in the moment decisions and a lot of those in the moment decisions aren't the best decisions and so they were taking on things or projects or clients or opportunities or investments that really weren't aligned with where they ultimately want to go so that's reason number three now let's get into reason number four on why having a strategic plan for every aspect of your creative business is a form of self-care And the last reason is that it allows you to stay ahead, right? So it's kind of like, and you guys know if you've been watching any of my videos for any amount of time, I love to use my GPS reference because I feel like it's the best demonstration of what a strategic plan is. How many of you have ever gotten in your car, put in your destination to your GPS, right? And then you looked up the steps and go, oh, in general, I know I'm going to ride this for 13 miles and then I'm going to get off on exit 12, right? And then once I get to exit 12, okay, I'll be paying more attention. But I know for right now, even if, you know, the lady is talking to me, even if she's saying all the things, I know I'm about to ride this stretch for another 10, 15 miles and get off at exit 12. How relaxing is it when you know what the next step is? 
So I can tell you so many times where I'm I'm in the GPS and there's a lot of twists and turns at that point, and I'm like, turn the music down, turn it off, don't call me. I'm trying to focus, I'm trying to concentrate, and I'm like, I don't want to miss my turn. Ah 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 ah. And then I've had the times where I know what my next two to three moves are. I don't know all 15 moves, but I know my next two to three moves are. And so I can relax a little bit. I can turn on the radio. I can lean back in my seat. I can have a conversation with the person in the passenger seat about something that's not related to the the drive. And I can just ride that thing out. I can just coast, right? Because I know what's coming ahead. And so it's the same thing in your business. When you have a strategic plan, it allows you to stay ahead and you don't always feel like you're in catch up mode and hustle mode. And, you know, I just like you're on the never ending hamster wheel. And so you guys know I'm really passionate about self care, but I think for creative women entrepreneurs that you need both sides. You need tender loving care for your business, aka a strategic plan. And there's some other things that you need for a business care plan. And then you need strategic self care for you specifically because as a creative woman entrepreneur, you're always birthing new ideas and coming up with new products and all the things that I said earlier. So I hope these reasons have been beneficial to you. I hope you thought about some things. I hope it challenges you a little bit. I hope it makes you want to get a strategic plan in place. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already and you enjoyed the video, you enjoyed what I shared with you today, make sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on and I will see you in my next video. Peace.